Welcome to the Brick Science 2023 LEGO City Tour. We have our entire LEGO City, and before we flood it, I figured, hey, let's do a tour of it and we can all be sad together. <laughs> so this LEGO City took 30 days to build, literally just finished it. I've decided to call it Stud City because all the studs, and that was the only thing that was original. All right, let's start. So this is the LEGO apartment building, and this is the first build I actually made for the city. So it has three levels, the first one, has a roof on it. It's pretty blank, it's like a gallery, so it's like an art gallery. And I just added some stickers. There's not minifigures in every one of these right now because I have to like reset them for the flood, but there's some of them in there. And then the second level is blank because this was the first day and I didn't really know what to put in it. <laughs> and it was really late that day, so I just decided, hey, I'll just not put anything in. The, the first level, however, actually has two apartments. And as you can see here, we have a random plate. <laughs> we got a bedroom, a bathroom, we got just some <laughs> terrible, terribly built chairs. You'll kind of see throughout the city as like, as the builds get better, the furniture and stuff too will get better because I didn't really know what I was doing when I started and I, I'm still not 100% sure I know what I'm doing, but I made a cool table and like the toilets. I really love building the sinks because they look like they have water in them. So yeah, it's just two apartments in the apartment building and then the rest of it is just up to your imagination. You can imagine there's more apartments. So next up here, as you can see, we have the Lego Apple Store, which I'm pretty sure I built next. I can't really remember, it's been like 30 days. But as you can see in here, the roof comes off and you can see a bunch of dead people. <laughs> so it's just basically like a normal Apple Store. We have, you know, computers, a laptop, we have phones and we even have AirPods right here. I just kind of made it fun, just kind of made it cool. I, I like the glass on the front. It uses this cool technique of like hinging the walls just like this. So those just bend inward. They're not really super connected, but it's an Apple store. So it, it turned out pretty good. Roof just goes back on there like that. Next up, as you can see, we have the pool house. Another cool build. I really like it. I was trying to figure out what to do with the courtyard. So I just used like different colored bricks. You can see I just used two by two bricks to make like a tile design because I didn't want to use actual Lego tiles because I didn't have a bunch of them. But as you can see, there's a pool here. We got this cool slide. And this is actually built in two parts. So the other part is actually over here. As you can see, this thing kind of attaches to it. So we have this here and this roof actually attaches to the other side of that building. And we have a larger pool here with some chairs and this cool thing, I built this in here. Not a lot of people got to see this, but there's actually a pool pump in here that I custom designed and doors. I really also like this fence design that goes around it because I had I bought a bunch of these bars like a couple months ago and I wanted to use them for fences and I ended up using quite a few in the city. So yeah, it's just nice a nice little pool. And like I said, this connects, this roof actually goes right over here. And not all these builds fit on the table. That's why some of them are like scattered about, but when I actually flood it, they're all gonna go on the sides and click in. So this here like is part of this roof and attaches to the rest of it. Even on the inside of the pool house, you can see there's two changing rooms or dressing rooms or whatever, bathrooms. There's toilets in there, a sink, and then yeah. And also on these walls, I used a variation of a pattern where I just kind of like used these profile bricks and I swapped them out so it would make it look like a graph pattern or something. Just to kind of like make it cool, give it some detail. And I also really like these masonry bricks I used. They're just these little bricks and they have a little brick design on them. So I just put those in between and it looks kind of like a cool pool house. So there's that. The next build I made was the Mr. Beast Burger and I actually wanted to build this because, you know, Mr. Beast on YouTube. I thought it would get a lot of views. But also, it's just kind of a cool building. It has pink and blue. And this is the first time I actually used like custom made stickers, which I basically took logos, made them in Photoshop, and then just print them, cut them out. And then I just glued them on with a glue stick. But as you can see, the inside of this, completely detailed with a bunch of burgers. We had Mr. Beast in there, but now he's in the mall, which I'll be showing you later because there's a Mr. Beast burger chain in there. But here you can see like a burger and like there's a kitchen back there. There's even a bathroom in the back corner. I kind of just took the design from his thumbnail, like straight up. I just looked at the thumbnail and went, hey, how can I remake this in Lego? And so I used some more masonry bricks and some white windows. And I think it turned out pretty good. There's just a lot of cool stuff in here. A lot of details that will get missed probably in the main video because there's just so much. We'll see how this one holds up in the flood because it's gonna be right in the path. On day six, I actually built living houses so to make it so that, you know, people could live in the city. And these ones, I actually just came back and made it so they could snap together, added some bricks and green stuff so they could snap together in high technic bricks. These are pretty cool. This one, I built five of these. Yeah, I built five of these and this one is actually built upside down because I ran out of the slopes for the roof. So I used a very interesting technique, building it upside down, as you can see here on the, oh. Some of these are detailed, some of them aren't, but as you can see here, this just slots into place like this. 
and looks like it's built right side up. This is like one of my favorites just because of the colors I used. More masonry bricks around the bottom and then I used a couple Lego tiles, which I got this idea from a creator set just to make like a little walkway or whatever. But I think it turned out pretty good. It looks pretty cool. So that's the first one. And then I built this one, which is the brownstone apartment. I actually looked up what all these apartment types were called and the only one I remember was brownstone. But as you can see, I used some more masonry bricks on the front. That's kind of a recurring theme. I did that a lot because I, I bought so many but it's like bricks go in buildings, so. And then I kind of did three floors, just kind of separating the windows with these little um, sliding door pieces. I think it turned out really good. And then I built the sidewalk to kind of match this and added some plants in the front. And then I got three more buildings that don't actually fit on the table right now, but these go in the back. This one is a Lego set that I actually transformed into a building. You can see on the back here, uh, this is actually open in the actual set, but I just built up some facades right here with bricks and slopes to make it look like a complete house. Because I really wanted to use it. It's like a beautiful build, but I didn't know how. And then this actually snaps in. You can see our Technic bricks here that hold everything together. I just kind of put these randomly, but there's an actual way to do it to make it modular. That snaps in there, and we have two of these houses. So I kind of just made a layout for the houses on day one, because I laid out the entire city on day one. And these, one of them is actually detailed. You see, we could take the roof off. It has a garage. This is actually Brick's first house in the lore. It has a garage with a bike in it, a garage door that doesn't open, <laughs> and we got a chair. I took some of the furniture out to move it to another building because he moved. But yeah, we got a nice bed here and a nightstand. Again, I didn't really know what I was doing with the furniture at this point. Uh, I kind of learned. So they get a little bit better, but this is where it started. So there is the first house, and this house over here, I totally ran out of slopes because I was gonna go like all the way up, but I had to just trans transfer to the two by three slopes because I ran out of the two by two slopes. But this one's just a nice yellow and black house. I don't know, I just thought it looked cool. And these will actually, if you imagine, slot in place right behind the mall. For day seven, I actually built a prison. So this is a complete prison. It has a police station in the front, and I'll show you the inside, but it has a police station, the actual prison part, a heli helipad without a helicopter because I didn't buy one. I kind of forgot. But then we have a courtyard back here where the prisoners can hang out. So you can see we got some weights there. I just built with a couple bar pieces and stuff. And this cool red table and a basketball hoop. Here, as you can see, we have the actual prison cells with a bunch of prisoners inside it. You can see we got a guard here with like a radio and a cup. I just tried to add like more details and all these doors do open. I mean, no, they're locked. <laughs> they don't have. But there's beds in here, and a cool actual hidden detail is this little, there's like a little spoon in this corner here, and as you can see, I added a little hole in the side like he's breaking out with the spoon. <laughs> I just thought it'd be funny. And then up in the front here, we have the actual police station. So we have the commissioner's office, commissioner, <laughs> gray hair, and we also just have some cool details. I got better at building desks on day, day seven. As, as you can see, we have a computer, a note, you know, just some fun stuff. I just try to make it look like a police station by taking the Lego City police color scheme and just turning it into my city. And so these roofs just stick on here with a couple studs. You can see I got studs at intervals. And the rest of it is tiles, so they don't, so they're not super hard to get off. But this snaps right into place right there. And there's the prison. That was pretty fun to build. I just kind of wanted to build a prison because I just, I don't know, I thought it'd be cool. Never done it before. Never really done any of this before, but that was a really fun one. So the next building I made was actually over here. And again, this doesn't fit on the table, but this is a cart mart. I had to change the name. Originally it was part mart, but then <laughs> I, I discovered that part mart is actually a real store. So I couldn't use that. So here inside this building is a grocery slash toy store because there's some toys over here, but it's not really, it's just mainly groceries. There's a ton of cool details in here. I made the shopping basket. There's like checkout stands and produce section and like bread. As you can see, I made some custom refrigerators. It's just fun, it's cool. And the roof, I actually had to rebuild later because I realized I needed some plates. So I made it in black and I think that looks a lot better, uh, mainly just because I needed the plates. For the outside of this, I just kind of wanted to make it look cool. So I used some yellow as a highlight color. I was gonna originally do Walmart, but then I kind of realized Cart Mart would be better. I don't know. <laughs> so for the next build I actually did, I did a skyscraper and this was day nine. And so this is one of three skyscrapers. We actually have four in the city, including the Daily Bugle. But this one is actually built with the technique of locking the bricks together. Because for the flood, I actually wanted to make them, and we still don't know what this is gonna do because I haven't flooded it yet, obviously. But I actually wanted to make them using different techniques so I could see which one will hold up the best against the flood. This one just has, you know, locking together the bricks, like overlapping them. 
and no Technic or anything on the inside, but there's two more that will go through. This one, the lobby on the main floor is detailed. Uh, the rest of it, I couldn't detail all the floors because I just didn't have the time. Because I have to build like one of these each day. But this was pretty cool. As you see, we got Spider-Man on top here. I really love the colors I use for this because I use tan and then some gray windows. And all these windows are, you know, you can't push into them, which is something my friend Christian came up with the idea later, is to actually make the windows facing inward so when the water hits, it'll push them in. And you'll get a cooler effect for the inside. So that's skyscraper number one. And we got a couple more of those, but first we got the next building. On day 10, I built YouTube headquarters. So this is built in two sections because it doesn't fit on the table, obviously. But over here, we have the server room and actually, if I remember correctly, 20 days ago when I built this, all this stuff comes off and we can remove, yeah, we can remove the roof and you can see the YouTube servers, which I just kind of made up for fun. And I have a little desk with a guy in there who's like, you know, choosing how the videos do the algorithm or something, I don't know. And then this is the main building, which is actually pretty cool. As you can see, the roof comes off in three sections because I was running out of plates. And that's why I kind of transitioned to building my roofs out of bricks. But as you can see in here, there's a conference room with like the YouTube executives and a TV. And then we have some standing desks over here and like some weird wall art, I don't know. But this comes off like this. And then you have the first floor, which fun fact, in the YouTube headquarters, they actually have this red slide, those cool red chairs, and then this, which is the YouTube logo, and it's on like an LED screen. So I kind of wanted to integrate those into the real thing. I've never been to the YouTube house, the YouTube headquarters, but I thought it would be cool to just make one. So this isn't entirely accurate, but it has some of the same features. And then over here, you can see we have this, which is like the, it's like a hedge sign with the YouTube logo in it. Again, another custom logo I made. And I just thought, hey, that'd be cool to include. And you can see on the front here, we have this YouTube logo, which I just built using a triangular sign, which doesn't come off apparently. <laughs> Yeah, see, there's a triangular sign. See, it's just a little triangle piece with a clip on it. And then you just snap it on here and boom, YouTube logo. And it sticks out really weird, but hey, uh, this goes right here. So this is the park. As you can see, again, doesn't quite fit on the table because this city's so huge. This connects here using Technic bricks. We have a fountain in the middle, which is super awesome. That connects. And then we have a working swing set it does work, okay? Put a clip right here. It's a working swing set. And we have a bunch of rocks around it. I used some like some tiles and some little round pieces to make rocks and stuff. And also built a bunch of custom trees for this, which was really fun. And that just snaps right into there. We got some park benches. So this is the park. It'll be actually pretty cool to see what the water does to this, but it is right behind the huge school. So who knows, because that might block most of it. On day 12, I built a Lego school because I thought it'd be really fun and just cool. Also, like I was putting more minifigures in the city, so I figured, hey, most of them need to go to school, right? I kind of tried to make it realistic and fit in with the lore. And so you can see in here, there's a ton of classrooms. Actually, there's only four. There's four classrooms and then a hallway with some lockers. You see we got a science lab, a math class, theater class, and then a gym. It's pretty simplistic, but I had to build this, I had to build all these in like one day. So this one, I built entirely in one day and I had to build all the furniture and stuff. So I mean, for the amount of detail that went into it, I think it turned out pretty good. Ow, I just jammed my finger on the thing. And uh, the roof, this is actually where I built the first sideways roof because I kind of figured out early on, I was running out of large gray plates. So I built the sideways roof out of bricks, two by four and two by two bricks. That slots in there like that. You can lift it up and it just slots into place. There's tiles on the surface of the top of this thing. So it works pretty good. So on day 13, I built the restaurant, which I'll actually pull out here so you can see it. This is the fancy restaurant and this was really, really fun to build. So I'm gonna take it over here. So you can see for this build, I tried to make it look as fancy as possible using like this sand green, which is a beautiful color, really love it. There's like this little place out here where you can eat. So if you notice right here, there's like a wall with some vines on it. And the reason for that is if we take this off, take off the roof, and this is a horribly built roof because it takes off the front, but you know, whatever. We take off the roof, you can see on the inside, it's a beautiful restaurant. Like, I really took inspiration from the Lego Jazz Club because it uses this dark red and it just looks really fancy and nice. So you can see here we have four tables, we have a kitchen and a bathroom. And the bathroom is right up against that little vine thing. <laughs> and I didn't want a window right there. So there's like two windows and then the vines. I kind of planned that at the end and I was like, oh, well. That'll work. But yeah, you can see in here, there's like a fully decked out kitchen with a chef. It just turned out pretty cool. There's a fountain in the front, make it look nice. And lots of lanterns and lamps and stuff just to make it super cool. This was my favorite until I built something else. And then that was my favorite. But this is my first favorite. <laughs> So another building next to the restaurant that doesn't quite fit on the table right now is the bank. And this one was super fun to build. I used these pillars in the front because I was inspired by a bank actually in New York 
that has pillars in the front. I think it's like Wells Fargo or something. I decided to name the Central Bank, so here's another custom sticker I made. And this is just stuck on here with snot bricks on the wall, but this actually is just like a tile, and then underneath the tile, oh, whoops, ripped the sticker, so that's nice. So that goes on the front, and then if we take the roof off here, there's actually a bank vault and a ton of cool details in here. So as you can see in here, we have a little desk with a banker. We have security cameras because obviously you don't want anyone walking away with your bank vault goods. <laughs> and then over here, we got a little sitting area. One of my favorite details in the city is this little coffee machine because I use like cups and like, it's just a cool coffee machine. It's mini figure scale, I thought it was cool. But my very much, my very favorite part of this build is actually the bank vault. So if you come in closer, you can see inside there, is the vault and there's a little key to turn on the light for the vault i use this like fake light brick which just goes in there and as you can see if i put this in and turn it it turns on the light and it's not a very bright light but as you can see the vault door actually opens as you see i say that a lot but as you can see it does <laughs> the chair is kind of in the way but the vault door opens you see gold and stuff inside it's kind of spilled out it's got cash in it but the, another cool thing about this build i went all out with the features is this breakaway wall. So you can put a little piece of dynamite there and then if you kick this button, the wall breaks out and you can actually see on the inside and they can break into it. I just thought it'd be cool to make because I was inspired by the Lego Daily Bugle set. But yeah, it's really cool build. I really like the, the bank part of it with the round door and stuff, but I'm happy with it. This thing goes right on here. The other way. This thing goes right, what the heck? <laughs> and I also use glass panels on the roof so it would actually let some light in because a lot of these, it's hard to see the inside, it's a little dark. But we're gonna be flooding this outside so it'll actually help a lot. Next up here we have the Toy Factory. So our character Brick actually started a business with Shopify and as you can see the roof comes off here and he built up a bunch of toy robots. So there's a shop down here, like a store where he can sell them. Up here there's like an office and then I really wanted to do this glass bridge in the city. That was like one of the main things I wanted to do for this. So I added this little glass bridge, there's a plate underneath and some tiles. And I used this really cool technique for the windows in this by putting clear windows on the front and foggy windows on the back. So it kind of gives it like a tinted effect and they're like 50 cents compared to the clear windows which are 80 cents, so that's pretty cool. And then over on this side, as you can see, there's a factory with a bunch of conveyor belts and robot arms and just cool stuff to make it fun. Didn't really fit quite as well as I wanted it to next to the prison, but it worked. <laughs> So yeah, that's right there. And there's this cool magnet arm that kind of like swivels around and stuff. Just like some fun stuff in here. So that's the toy factory. So next up here, another one that doesn't quite fit on the table is the zoo. This one actually takes up four base plates and is built modularly so you can snap it together. But there's the front area and a bunch of different enclosures and stuff on the inside, like for the bears and there's one for the ostriches. And huge shout out to my friend TD Bricks, Tyler. He actually sent me a bunch of these animals to borrow, which was super gracious of him. Uh, I don't think he knew at the time that I was flooding them. I tried to make it clear, but anyway, thanks Tyler. So yeah, there's just some fun details. There's like a gift shop and a reptile enclosure, habitats and stuff. This one's gonna be really fun to see what happens when it floods, just with the habitats. I'm sure all the bears and stuff will be swimming. And I made sure to put it right next to the park in case the lions back here want to, you know, hop the fence, they'll be right back in the wild. On day 18, I built this skyscraper, and this is skyscraper number two, and it is a helix skyscraper, or a helicoidal or something. I don't know, I just call it a helix one because it was a shorter title. This is the roof, which is just a capper I just threw on there. I didn't have a way to attach it at the time, so I was just like, bam, we'll just put it on there. But this one's so cool because it uses these Technic pieces, but it also uses these little red Technic pieces that have an angle on them so we can actually get the curving shape. I'll... <laughs> and it uses these Technic pieces all the way up. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And so the next day, I built this skate park because I was really tired this day and I was building, you gotta understand, I was building this in 30 days and I, I did it. But basically I built this in a day. It's just a little skate park. We got some graffiti, a custom print it says sub to brick science, pretty good idea. And then just like some cool guys. We got the guy from Subway Surfers, which is not official, but whatever. He's just sitting there. A rail and this little BMX dude who's stuck in here with putty. He keeps falling down like every day. Yeah, every day I have to put him back up so I can shoot the shots. But. Yeah, just a cool little skate park. That was day 19. So on day 20, I actually built a car dealership with sports cars because I thought it'd be cool to have some like Lego Speed Champions cars, which will all roll away if I move this one. Uh, but this one's called Cool Cars Sale. <laughs> and this is actually detailed on the inside as well because I didn't just want to do the outside, I did the inside. So you can see another coffee machine, one of my favorite features, two desks with some donuts or cookies, a little kitchen, 
not a little kitchen, but just a little area for like the people who work there. And then in here, there's like an office with some of those tinted windows again to make it look nice. Just some details and stuff. And he's actually got better as time went on. The furniture looks a lot better in this than the last one, to be honest. Because some of the first builds were pretty rough in terms of furniture, but that turned out pretty good. And then I just made a parking lot with tiles and stuff. Don't fall. <laughs> just a parking lot with tiles and stuff. As you can see, tiles and plates to actually make it you know, cool. And I had some stickers to the cars because they're for sale. On day 20, I built the Lego store, which will actually go right here next to the Mr. Beast, Mr. Beast Burger. Ah, got tongue tied. Uh, but this one's actually really cool because, you know, my childhood. So I have some lights on the inside here. I'll take those out before the flood, obviously, but those are just some off-brand Lego lights. There's a pick-a-brick wall, a bunch of shelves with bricks on them, and some like little, <laughs> little miniature toys I stole from another Lego build. So I, I built Lego miniatures inside of a Lego Lego store so my Lego minifigures could buy Lego. It was like total inception, really fun build though. And on the front here, as you can see, we have the Lego logo, which I just cut out of an instruction manual because I didn't want to make a sticker. And I think it turned out pretty good. It's got a door and some displays in the front. I really like this build. I can't wait to see what the flood does to it. I love the builds with the glass on the front because it just looks really, really nice. On day 21, I built cars for the city. So as you can see here, we have like this one from Indiana Jones. And I didn't actually design these. I just built the Lego car sets. So we got like this one. I wanted to add some life to the city. This one's actually pretty cool. It's got a minifigure in it. And so I just built a bunch of Lego cars on the roads and stuff and did that for the entirety of day 21. So there were a lot of cars now in the city. That'll be really, really cool when I flood it, but yeah. So I built cars, there's a trash truck, a taxi and stuff, and I just built those throughout the city. So I moved some buildings right here so you could see, but the next building I made was the mall. And this actually took me two days because it's so detailed and so huge, but it has a roof that comes off, which has blue on the bottom because I ran out of dark gray. So I used, <laughs> I, I used blue one by fours on this side dark gray one by fours on this side. And on these roofs, I actually included just like a couple bricks that stick out so I could build like the various, you know, air conditioning units and stuff on them just to give them more details so they're not as flat. On the inside of the mall, there's so many cool details. So there's like bathrooms. <laughs> I always start the cool details of the bathrooms. I don't know why, I just, it's fun to build. Like Lego toilets, they're just so fun. I don't know why. Um, so we have mayonnaise on an escalator right here, one of my favorite features, and a ton of other details in here. This could be like a whole video in itself. <laughs> because there's so much in it. This took me two days. But there's shops, there's a salad store, chicken shop, brick built robot shop. And also the cool thing about this build is, is those bricks come off. No, it's actually two layers. So on the first layer, it's even more detailed. And I used white walls on the first layer to give it some variation. And you can see there's like a sporting goods store, a pet store, a gaming store, another Mr. Beast Burger chain. And we even have an ice cream shop. So it's just really cool. I really like this one just because of all the details in it. And I plan to put an actual camera and a light in here during the flood, because it's so big. And on this one, I actually did make the windows so they could push open from the outside, so any water can just spill in, and we can totally see the damage it'll do. So that's a really cool build. Next up, I built the Lego Aquarium, which has this little shark right here. And my friend Christian actually came over and said, hey, that'd be so funny if you put a little Lego shark up there. And so this is from like the Lego pirate ship set up here. And I just thought, hey, I'll just put it on here. So I used a little bracket. And that's just a fun little detail. This roof took me like two hours to build. And it's just built using this crazy technique with curved pieces. I don't wanna hold it up for too long or it'll break. But I'm gonna put this over here. <laughs> it's super sturdy, trust me. On the inside of this aquarium, I built a little catwalk where the people, again, there used to be minifigures in here, but I, I need to kind of rotate them around for the video, so there aren't right now. Where there's a catwalk and there's a huge aquarium that you can actually walk through if you see in this little door here. There's a little front desk for exchanging money so that people can come into the aquarium because it's not free. And then for some reason, I decided it'd be cool to build a polar bear enclosure inside of the aquarium because I just, thought it'd be cool. I don't know, I had a polar bear from, from Tyler, so I, I put him in there. But there's a ton of cool details in here. Turtles, we got frogs, we got poison frogs, crabs. We even have a water snake, and then sharks, dolphins, fish. I thought this one turned out really cool, and it was really, really fun to build. Like, I've always wanted to build a Lego aquarium, never been able to do it until now. And as you can see, I used glass windows, made a custom logo, and this little thing that is totally not the Aquaman logo. It just happens to look just like it. I kind of noticed afterwards, okay? But it looked too good. So this roof just pops on there, and uh, and as you can see, there's curved walls in the front, so that's why that's doing that. But yeah, that fits in there. And then there is the Lego Aquarium. The last building I actually made was this Lego skyscraper. This is Lego skyscraper number three. It's huge. Like, I mean, obviously on the table, it's taller than me, but it comes up like three feet almost. There's even a little topper that I couldn't put on until we actually flood it. But this is actually made using a Technic cross beam. So two Technic beams crossed over each other. As you can see, I added billboards and stuff. 
And there's two floors on this. The first one is like a really fancy lobby with a fake elevator. There's a bunch of cool details and furniture in here. And then on the second floor, I decided to build Brick a penthouse since he's moving up in the world. He started in an apartment and then he was in his own house. And now he's in the penthouse in the tallest building in the city. So that's kind of like a cool storyline going on. But the penthouse is right here. There's a bunch of cool details in there. There's a bathroom with an actual bathtub, which I got to build. First bathtub in the entire city, surprisingly. There's a little dojo, a kitchen, and there's also a bed and a living room in there. So that's a really cool detail. And on top here, I made some custom, I don't know, like statue gargoyle things. They kind of look weird. They kind of look like they're squatting, but but I was it was already the end of the, the day and I didn't have any more time to build. So that's what I came up with and I'm pretty happy with it. And also for the fourth skyscraper to make it more of a square, cause I wanted to make Times Square with like billboards and stuff. And I added like custom printed billboards in here, but I also added the Lego Daily Bugle set, which is cool. I just thought it was cool. Obviously I didn't design it, but it fits in here with the other three and I want to see it get wrecked in the flood. Oh wait, actually I wanted to keep this one. Well, it's too late now. <laughs> I've already added it, but hopefully it'll stand up good. I mean, I I'm doubting it, but uh, we'll see. The rest of the stuff in the city just took a couple more days. I laid down the sidewalks, which have a ton of details like sewer tiles and the street lights, which I built, added like trash cans and tiled everything in. And I think it looks really good. That is the Lego city. It took 30 days to build. I don't know how many pieces, probably like 25,000 or something, but it's absolutely huge. It is, and this isn't even all of it, right? There's the sections that go on the side. There's one base plate on each side of it. And so when we flood it, I'm gonna actually make 300 gallons of water rush through the city. It's gonna be pretty awesome. As you can see here, we have the Jazz Club, another Lego set that I just added in because I thought it was cool. I didn't design this one. I just kind of threw it in here, but it just fits with everything. And it's just a cool Lego city. So that is the city. It's finally done, finally complete. And now we're going to flood it with 300 gallons of water. So if you want to see that video, check out this right here. That's like the build video and where I actually flood it. And if you want to see the short series, you can check out this playlist right here because I did all 30 days in YouTube shorts. So you can check that out too. See ya.